thank those people who help us. We love those who are always with us. We remember those who influence us. We admire those who impress us. But we only follow those who inspire us. So aspire to inspire before we expire. Good morning to one and all present here. Me, Aishwarya Ramesh of Class 11B will be presenting on the topic what all we can do to realize Dr. Kalam's dream. We are so blessed and privileged to live in this era, having before us the life of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam to see, read, assimilate and articulate. It is no exaggeration that even after his death, he still lives in our hearts. He keeps on influencing our thoughts, impressing our minds and inspiring our lives. The greatest admiration we could render this great personality is sharing his words and ideas thus realizing the dreams and goals for our country and for the whole of mankind. Human beings are led by various aims and purposes in life, right? So when a person decides to live his life in a normal or ordinary way, his dreams and goals get confined or entangled into mere day-to-day -day matters of existence. Food and drink become his only concern. But Dr. Kalam asks us to be different. He invites us to be extraordinary. He calls for our commitment towards our nation and encourages us to dream for our country. Now what made Dr. Kalam's life have such an enormous impact? Was it his indomitable determination or his sheer perseverance or his supreme intelligence or his commitment or sincere hard work towards our nation or was it his superb oratory skills? Indeed, he was a man of all these things. But still, much more than for me, he was a man of convictions. In order to live his convictions, he was ready to go to any extent. It is quite easy and effortless to flow with the current in conformity with the world around us. But it's all the more challenging and demanding to pursue the dreams of success against all odds. That road may be full of hardships, adversities, trials and tribulations. Yet, the ultimate destination of that dare venture would certainly be an inspiration for generations to come. Thousands of Indians have chosen a very easy and comfortable life living abroad, selling their ideas, wrenching their brains, marketing their skills for other nations. But that's not what our country needs. We need the future generation to work for our own country's development and progress. Now, it's quite unfortunate if someone thinks that Dr. Kalam's dreams are only meant for the older generation. Because, my dear friends, he was a man of the 20th century, but he designed the 21st century. And no doubt he will have a very great impact in the centuries to come. Because he was not a man of the past. He never lived for the sake of present. Rather, he preferred to live for the future. And now we are the future generation and he has handed over the baton to us. Unlike our dreams that enhance our sleep, Dr. Kalam's dreams never let him sleep. Those dreams became his thoughts, those thoughts became his actions, and thus he became the missile man of India and later the people's president. It is for certain that among us gathered here, there are many who are capable of dreaming even higher and achieving more success. And we should realize that the potential each one of us possesses surely does not have any limit. So let us join our hands together and work for our nation. And by doing so, our life would be an inspiration for many. Thank you. Thank you.